a few of the factors to consider when you're trying to take a pulse or get a really good idea of what your body image is right now are the emotions you have about your body, the thoughts or the self-talk that you regularly say about your body or have about your body, the amount of sensation, physical sensation you feel in your body or allow yourself to feel or maybe ignore, as well as the way you treat your body. All of these give you a really good idea of where you're at with your body image currently. We're going to start seated today and so find a comfortable cross-legged position, maybe grab a blanket or a pillow and place it right underneath those hips and find a spot that just works really well for you and for your body. If you like, you can close the eyes and just start to come out of your head and into the body. Notice how the breath moves. Let an inhale expand the rib cage in all directions. I'm going to invite you to try an ujjayi breath, adding some texture, some sound to the breath, creating a nice anchor for you to come back to as you observe your thoughts throughout this practice. On your exhale, it'll be like fogging up a mirror, but then keeping the lips closed or partially closed. And just try that on your own mat, inhaling through the nose, foggy exhale, and a few more deep breaths here. Letting the body relax, sink and settle into your mat, letting those shoulders drop down. And the face relax. Paying attention now and then to the thoughts that float through your mind about your body, as well as the physical sensations you notice in your body. Take one more deep inhale and exhale here. Let it out. Slowly open the eye. And we're going to follow our movement with our breath today. So as you inhale, lift the chin. Gaze up as you exhale, draw the chin down to the chest. Two more like that. Inhale, lift the chin. Ride the breath. Take your time getting up to the top. And exhale, take it down, moving with intention. One more, inhale it up. Maybe open the jaw, let it relax. And on an exhale, take it down. Nice. And come on back to center. We'll inhale, taking the chin toward the left shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. One more each side. Inhale, left. And exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, back to center. Let's take right ear to right shoulder. Let it drop down. Maybe you extend those left fingertips. Maybe you close the eyes. Maybe you wrap that right arm around behind you. Find what works well. Breathing into the left side of the neck. Maybe tip the tent chin down toward the chest just a bit. And then take it up just a bit, bringing the stretch to the front of the neck. And then go ahead and drop those arms down. Drop the chin, roll the head around. Left ear comes to left shoulder. Breathing into that space in the neck. Again, maybe taking the right fingertips out, maybe wrapping left arm behind if that feels right. Again, dropping the chin just a bit, bring the stretch to the back of the neck. And then lift the chin, bring the stretch towards the throat, the front of the neck. 
And come back to ear to shoulder, release the arms. Take two rolls to each side, cycling through, chin comes to chest, ear comes to shoulder, and then bring it back up to neutral. All right, so we're gonna add in the arms here. So inhale, reaching up, sweeping up, take the full breath to reach to the top, drop the shoulders down, exhale, press the palms out like a French press. Ooh. Two more, inhale, sweep it up with intention. Exhale, press that exhale out. Let's add on a twist. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Bring the gaze up to meet. And exhale, left hand comes to right knee. Right hand plants behind, nice long spine, gentle twist. Mm, keep that breath deep, keep it moving. Make one more inhale, and exhale here. Nice, so inhale, sweep the arms up back to center. Exhale, opposite side, right hand meets left knee, left hand plants behind you, long spine, find that twist. And notice if you're pulling in the abdomen here, can you let it go? Think of creating length by reaching up through the pelvic floor. And on an exhale, finding the depth of the twist that you need. One more inhale and exhale here. And we'll inhale, sweep the arms up to center. Exhale, take them behind the back, interlace those fingers, press the knuckles down toward the earth, puff up through the chest, inhale. On an exhale, fold it forward, stopping at that just right point where your body says, ooh, that's just enough. No more, thanks. <laughs> Pausing here. Noticing any self-talk. Slowly rise up. Let's plant those hands and just switch the feet around crossing in the other direction. Nice, so we're just gonna turn our legs long on the mat, letting them extend out, flexing through those heels, finding those sits bones, moving any flesh out the way that you need. And then inhale, sit up nice and tall, reach those arms up high. And exhale, hinge at the hip and pause here first. Resist the temptation to round through the back and just notice where you feel sensation in the body here. Take a nice, good, deep breath. And now let the back round. Let the hands fall to a comfortable landing spot on the legs, maybe the shins, maybe the ankles, maybe the toes. Let the knees bend as much as you need to make this work for your body. And know that the depth of a pose or the lack of bend in a leg doesn't mean anything about you. It's just where your body's at today. Take one more good full deep breath here. And slowly release, walk it up. Nice. We'll take the left leg in, left foot planting to the inner right thigh. Let that left knee come out to the side. Flex through that right foot. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up nice and tall. And exhale, turn the chest over that leg, hinge at the hip, reaching forward, let the hands fall where they will. And then go ahead and round through the back. Come back to that breath, that textured ujjayi breath. Notice the sensations you feel. Notice any areas of the body that might feel a little numb or where you tend not to pay attention so much. One more inhale and exhale here. Slowly walk it up. And we'll take that left knee up towards the sky. Ready for a little seated twist so that left foot can come to the inside of the right leg or can cross up and over. Left hand plants behind you. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. 
inhale reach the right hand nice and long and then find that twist on an exhale maybe that elbow grabs onto that knee flex through the right foot keep that leg active don't let it just hang out finding your breath letting it be an experience for you today Mm, one more full breath cycle here and slowly release it back let the left leg go long right knee comes in again to the inside or maybe crossing over that left leg right hand plants behind inhale reach the left fingertips tall and then exhale find that twist that just right stopping point for you today knowing that tomorrow it could look different knowing that there might be a bit of a difference from the right side to the left side, that's okay. One more full breath cycle here. Exhale, release. Let's bring the soles of the feet to touch for Baddha Konasana or Cobbler's Pose. We'll grab on to the ankles here or maybe the feet, whatever is most comfortable. Inhale, find some length exhale pushing into the knees with the elbows finding a soft hinge at the hip bringing the chest over those feet and if anything feels a little bit uncomfortable here or too much um, see if you can tune into the thought behind it what happens if you simply choose to sit with that thought or that emotion and just breathe with it instead of calling it true or avoiding it. Take one more full breath here. Mm, slowly release. We're going to extend those legs out nice and long. Bring the hands behind you. Let the palms come maybe about six inches so behind. Fingers pointing towards your back pockets. We're going to press into the palms. Press down through the heels as we inhale, lift up through the hips, reverse plank. Keep a nice long line from the crown of the head to the toes. And if this is not quite feeling so great today, go ahead and bend one knee and then the other. Come to a reverse table. So two options, yogi's choice. Find what works best for you. You're here for five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one slowly lower those hips i'm going to draw those knees in and come into boat pose so find those sits bones one more time we're going to rock back just behind the sits bones maybe lift one foot at a time maybe the hands stay right here behind the quads maybe they come out to the sides maybe they come straight up find what works best for you today and pay attention to this core Imagine you had a marionette string right here, lifting up your heart, keeping that back nice and long. Again, you're here for five. Yes, you can. Four, you can do hard things. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring those knees in. Give yourself a little hug. Nice, and we'll take those legs back out for either reverse table or reverse plank, your choice. Planting through the palms on an inhale, lift up through the hips, length from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower, moving with intention. If you've lost your breath, find it, bring it back. You've got one more boat pose. Or if you like, you can take those feet a little wide, Ring the arms underneath and around. I like to walk my feet up. Lift one foot at a time, slowly lifting the feet. So boat pose, or you can join me here if you like. Maybe you cross at the ankles. Maybe you, you want to take a moment to cross in the other direction. And if your brain right now is saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't you know that it might be right maybe your body's not ready for this right now maybe boat pose is a better option pay attention to that but maybe it might be wrong sometimes things feel scary or feel out of reach but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are so just observing what's happening what's going through your mind what's happening in your body take one more deep breath here 
Uncross those feet, put down one foot and then the other and slowly unwind. Let's take that reverse plank or reverse table one more time, finding what you need. Inhale, lift the hips for five. Keep the breath moving. We hold the pose, not the breath. Three, can you squeeze those knees, activate the thigh bones, two, and one, slowly take it down. We'll leave that right foot planted, crossing left ankle at right knee. And if this right here is just enough as a hip stretch for you, stay right here, no need to carry on. If you'd like a little bit more, you can scooch those hips forward and slowly come on down to the mat. Maybe finding a gripping point or a, a leverage point behind the thigh bone or maybe the shin and using the bend in the elbows to pull in creating the hip stretch that you need. We're here for five breaths today. So go ahead and close the eyes and really take some time to feel into the physical sensations that you notice. Can you soften through the face? Where can you relax and release? And if you notice any negative self-talk, just let it keep moving. Know that it's just a thought. It doesn't make it true. Take one more deep breath here. And exhale. I'm gonna lower that right foot. Take those arms out to a T. And then we're gonna push through the right foot, lift those hips, shift them over to the left just a little bit. And cross those legs fully and then let the knees fall to the right as you gaze to the left. Finding a nice deep twist. And if this feels like too much, you can always uncross the knees, uncross the legs. Close the eyes, again soften. Let the breath be that experience. The texture, the sound is an anchor for you to come back to. One more full breath here. Slowly bring those knees back to neutral. Unwind, shift the hips back in line. Let's draw those knees into the chest. Curl up, bring the chin in. And then let's rock and roll back and forth. Coming up to sit one more time. And let's swap it out. Left foot plants, hands come behind. Right ankle crosses over left knee. Again, if this is enough for you, stay right here, honoring what your body has to tell you today. If you need a little more, shift those hips forward. Come on down to your mat, one elbow at a time. And again, find that soft landing place for the hands. Inhaling deeply, feel the rib cage expand. Exhaling, find that textured ujjayi breath. Again, we're here for five good breaths. So take your time to enjoy this, to be fully present. Take your time to honor your body today. Paying attention to its signs and signals. What's just enough and when you might need just a little bit more. Find an inhale here. Exhale it out. Release the hands, draw up that left foot, arms come out to the T, push down through the left foot, lift those hips and shift them just a little bit to the right, crossing the legs, and then let the knees drop to the left, gaze comes to the right. Making any adjustments you need, 
to start to curate this practice. Make it work for your body. Notice where you can soften and release. And even in this twist and this slight constriction and through the torso, can you find a really deep, full breath? And do any thoughts come up for you about your body? What do you observe? What do you notice? Take one more full breath here. Slowly bring those knees back to center, uncross the legs, align the hips one more time. And let's draw those knees in one more time, making a nice oh, compression, constriction. And then when we open it up, the blood can flow freely, the prana can move freely through the body. If happy baby feels good to you today, lift the soles of the feet up towards the sky, grab on to the instep or the arch of the foot, maybe pull those knees down. If this feels like a safe place to be, maybe rock side to side, massaging the spine, the muscles of the back. See if you can press that sacrum down towards the mat. Nice. We'll come back to center, release the feet, and we're gonna take it long and right into Shavasana. Let the palms float up towards the ceiling. Close the eyes. And again, softening from the top down, crown of the head. Relaxing through the eyes, the jaw. Release the shoulders. Feel those points of connection with the mat. And let's take one hand to the heart, one hand to the navel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this short practice and really got some time to tune into yourself, please feel free to give it a like, comment below, let me know what landed for you. Subscribe so you don't miss a beat and please share this with a woman you know should be a part of this growing community and this important conversation. If you'd like to grab that free body image assessment that I mentioned, you can check out the description below and jump on back to the Wednesday vlog just to get more information about what compromises your body image in the first place. As always, the light in me sees you and honors the light in each and every one of you. I'll see you next week. Namaste. Mm -hmm.